Good morning. Hi everyone and welcome back to another vlog. I know it has been forever since I last uploaded an actual video. So I'm picking up my camera and I am just trying once again. I'm going to start doing my best to vlog again and get myself back in a rhythm of editing and uploading because I definitely took a huge break from uploading and it was definitely unintentional. I had some technical issues with my computer, my camera, my SD drive. So I'm gonna just keep trying and attempt to upload a different way and see if that works. Um, I am headed out to Costco right now with my kids and so I thought I'd start vlogging and when I come back, boy, do I have so, do I have so much to update you guys on. I've been on baby bonding since the, end, the middle of March and I have just been doing so much being as far as like getting in a rhythm so many new hobbies i've been uh, like continuing and i'm excited to share all that with you but for now i will just kind of show you guys as the day goes and yeah that's pretty much it It's almost 11 o'clock. We just made it to Costco. I'm about to take them out. Go grab what we need to get and call it a Costco trip. I already got gas thanks to the 60 bucks I went to my tank because it was definitely needed. I already have Halloween costumes out at Costco. That's crazy. Alright you guys, um, it has been a few hours later and I want to chat with you guys about a bunch of stuff that I've been into lately just in case, I don't know, I feel like anytime I take a break from YouTube I feel like it's important to kind of provide an explanation as to one, where I've been and why I haven't been uploading and then two, kind of like what's been happening in the meantime. So as I clean around my kitchen I kind of want to just update you guys on what's been going on and the things that I've been into as of lately. So I took a few notes because um, I don't want to forget something that I've been doing because it's been a long time. And I'm not sure, like I wasn't intending on taking this break. I just kind of like had a lot going on um, and a lot of issues honestly with my camera. Uh, my SD card would not record. It was only letting me take pictures. And then I have my laptop that doesn't charge. So it was like, failed attempt after failed attempt trying to get my youtube channel like being consistent with it i want you guys to know i don't know if i mentioned it on this channel but i actually have um i'm actually going back into elementary um i don't know if you guys see my shorts but i am moving back to elementary i'm going to be teaching fifth grade next year um i was teaching sixth grade before moving to middle school and then I documented my experience um, going into middle school, which I was teaching math. And now I'm going back to 
elementary. So I have been able to continue reading, which I'm super surprised about. Um, back in December for my 29th birthday, I actually, or maybe it was for Christmas. I think I bought myself a Kindle for Christmas. And ever since then, I have been loving reading. I have been so into reading and I'm so surprised because sometimes you start hobbies and things and you don't know if it's just for like a temporary interest or if it's something like you're really into. And I really feel like I'm into reading and I love it and it's just uh, enjoyable. And so that has been a hobby I have been able to continue throughout the past four months. So pretty much all of 2024 20, I have been reading at least one book a month but i've been increasing that especially with me being off from work so i'm on my 15th book of the year and my goal is 25 and so i'm super excited to see if i can achieve that goal something else i have been able to keep up with um, as far as hobbies has been my scrapbooking i think i have a video on my channel not too long ago from doing a spread with me so that's something i actually started as for my like new year as well has been scrapbooking just documenting my life through my eyes and i have been able to keep up with that um i kind of just go through like different months like when there's events or things that we do or like that i want to document then i utilize that time to just grab my pictures and be creative with that so that has been something i'm keeping up with and i would also say that in my videos i have also ex I have also shared my experience with my Bible studies. Um, I kind of, I have been able to be consistent in my Bible studies pretty much all year long. Um, I have been doing a read the book in a year plan on the Bible app. And I also just recently started a Bible club with my friend. Um, so me and her meet every week. Um, we meet once a week on Mondays and we just kind of talk about our readings and questions just about life and we just kind of keep like each other held accountable for different things going on and so that has been a lot of fun um all right so back um in may for mother's day my husband built me a raised garden bed and so i have been running a garden um at first I was not sure how to handle it. At first it was fun because I was just watering it. And I'm not saying it's not fun, but it has its perks. Um, I have grown my, I have grown some zucchini. I have grown, I have a lot of peppers growing. I have a few tomatoes that have grown, but I've also lost some plants. I've had some strawberries that were doing well, but then when other plants got too big, they were getting not enough sunlight. So I had to remove them. And once I removed them, they kind of, I just couldn't keep up with them. So I lost some strawberries. I lost one of my tomato plants. I also lost, um, I'm lose I lost a cantaloupe because same thing is not getting the sunlight in the garden bed. And that's because I have zucchini. And if you don't know, but zucchinis grow super big. And then I have a lot of vines from my cucumber and my watermelon. So things are just like kind of taking over. And I guess that's my fault for not doing enough research to know which plants grow well together. I did as far as like companion plants but i didn't as far as like spacing and how things grow like if they grow up how the vines grow what needs enough sunlight like all of that i didn't do that much detail so i'm learning as i go but i do still have my garden going and i'm growing quite a bit of things in there so that has been fun the downfall like what has not been fun has been like the bugs um something's eating my basil i think i thought they were slugs or like snails but then I don't know because I have a lot of grasshoppers and then I have a lot of wasps. So those things have been kind of like making me not want to be in my garden. But overall, I love I love plants. I have created a whole little um, indoor plant section in my house. And so I can show you guys that in a second. Um, it's just been fun to learn more about plants because that's something I love and I've always been in interested in. So just kind of learning how to take care of them has been in enjoyable this summer. Um, something else I have been doing at least like five to six times a week has been moving my body. I'm not going heavy and like crazy about my workouts, but I definitely am at least working out 30 minutes a day, majority of my week, which is just a really good habit. And I'm really hoping I can keep that up starting like the new school year. Um, I do have a treadmill in one of my rooms and so I'm hoping like 
maybe at night i can keep up with that especially in the summer but like obviously once it cools down i love to go on walks with my family but um being active has just really become a part of my life and my just my family's life in general just being active is a good message to my children and my husband has been doing it with me too so it's been really nice to have a partner to just kind of hold yourself accountable with and going hand in hand with working out some things that my husband and i have changed for our family a few months back has been what we eat so we literally no longer eat fast food if we do eat out it's like three things like three different places and we rarely do that we try not to do it very often it might be like once a week but that's so much better from what we used to do because i used to not cook friday saturday sunday i would make breakfast or like snacks but i would not cook dinner during the week unless it was like a sunday night and i enjoyed that but when we started shifting our mind and like paying attention to what goes in our body and how that affects our health and not only our health but our kids health it's just been so much <clears throat> so much easier to just keep up with my meals and so that has been something else um just paying more attention to our health um and i can i want to create a whole separate video on this because my health journey has been a whirlwind for myself personally but i have a lot of positive things to say about it so i want to se make a separate video on that i also joined a book club i should have added this in when i talked about the books that i've been into but i i started uh i joined a book club it's this girl i went to my through my credential my master's program with um she's a friend of my friend well they work they work together so like a friend that i know and her know each other and so she my friend was already in her bible in her book club so i joined and it has been very enjoyable we meet twice a month um one of those meetings is on facetime and the other one is in person and it's been fun to just get around other girls and just talk about these books that we're reading um because i've really been enjoying it and once again i hope this is something i can keep up with once i go back to work because i can definitely say i put a bunch on my on my plate this summer and i'm just praying that at least half of them can stay being in my routine when i go back to work because everything kind of falls once i'm back at work sadly but i want to keep up with everything i just want to add into my life at work i don't want my job to surround my health and all my other enjoyments in life so i will keep you guys updated on that so two more things that have been happening over this break um a social media fast i don't know if i've mentioned this before but very often i feel god leads me to remove myself from social media um just because i feel like there's too much toxicity when it comes to being online um the only thing i do keep is my youtube channel on like my youtube account because i enjoy watching videos still but it's a little bit different watching like a youtube video versus like scrolling and watching a thousand when god tells me to remove myself i just delete it off my phone for the time until i feel him calling me back to it that's pretty much it um i will go more into details in a later video as far as like all the things i will have those type of videos to come which is why i'm kind of sharing with you guys everything that's been going on in my life so all my videos don't just seem random but um yeah that's pretty much it for this video you guys i hope you guys enjoyed it if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comment section below i hope you guys are excited to see more of me and content other than my children honestly because before my content was just my mom vlogs and my teacher vlogs but now i'm on summer break and i have a ton of hobbies going on so i'm excited to vlog more of that and my experience with gardening and reading and my bible studies so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed it and i shall see you guys soon